Welcome back to the Holiday Road Travel Channel. Today we are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, and we are starting our day off here at the Heinz History Center, uh, which is this awesome Smithsonian affiliated museum. Um, I'm most excited because they have the original set of the Mr. Rogers show here. Um, so we can't wait to explore all six floors that this has to offer. Admission is 20 bucks a person, which seems like a deal for how big this is. We're in the Pittsburgh Sports Museum, part of... No, 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 you're supposed to run and start. This is the mark to beat right here from Olympic guy. Bears. Look at this one. He's, he's, that's a good one. We're coming upon one of the primary reasons I wanted to visit the city of Pittsburgh and it's to relive my childhood. Because here's the original set of Mr. Rogers. Check it out. So cool. All the original puppets, the costumes, the set design. Uh, just amazing. Seven, and they had a direct route to Cincinnati and I think it's very interesting that Pittsburgh and Cincinnati were so interconnected back in the day. We're here on top of Mount Washington at the Mount Washington Overlooks. There's several areas where you can pull off and get this amazing view of the city. It's totally worth it. Really quick, easy thing to do. Uh, just see from the bird's eye view and it's beautiful. Yeah, especially at sunset. All right, guys, Blakely and I are coming at you live from day two of our Pittsburgh trip. Uh, she was a little fussy last night, and this is our second trip with her. Uh, so we didn't film as much last night as we wanted to. Uh, but we did stop and try the world famous Primanti Brothers sandwiches. Uh, it's kind of the number one known food here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I got to be honest, it was gross. Um, it really wasn't good. They're big on French fries on the sandwich and coleslaw. Disclaimer, I don't like coleslaw, but the uh, it was real vinegary. Uh, I just wasn't a fan of the sandwich. I probably wouldn't eat it again. We are staying here at the historic Omni Hotel uh, here in downtown Pittsburgh. Um, we'll show some video footage of that. And then we have a big day of adventures ahead of us. Are you excited? Yeah, me too. We are stopped here at a place that I've always wanted to see. It's a staple of touring Pittsburgh. It's a house of folk art and bright colors called Randy Land. And we're about to uh, check it out. We'll see if you can see it right off uh, behind me there. I never thought I could shake this heartache Until I saw your light And it's got me feeling like life is good
If you were in Pittsburgh, Randy Land is a must visit. That was so cool. And Randy is awesome. Yeah, so it's a guy who had special needs. He moved to this area back when it was a really rough part of town. Um, and he just smiled and waved and talked to people. And eventually it made a difference. And I guess kids from the neighborhood started showing up and he cleaned things up. And he turned this into like this whimsical piece of folk art that he called the Yellow Castle. And eventually everyone in the community called it Randy Land. Uh, but it's free to enter. We encourage you to either make a donation or buy one of his uh, magnets or stickers. Or, but man, it's just, you leave there with your heart warmed and it's a cool thing to see too. We're at our next stop here in the city. We're at the Bicycle Museum of Pittsburgh, the world's largest bicycle museum. Um, it's not too far from Randy Land, so it was like a two mile drive over. Uh, it'll be a fun chance to see what's inside. <laughs> just donation only. Um, but seriously, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of bikes, and this rivals any museum we've ever been to. Um, super cool, there's movie top bikes, there's old antique bikes, there's oddity and curiosity bikes, literally everything bicycle. The Bike Museum of America was fantastic. Uh, really cool, another Pittsburgh must. And speaking of Pittsburgh must, we're about to head off to lunch. Um, so the thing we heard about Pittsburgh, they're over two foods, the Comanche Brothers sandwich, which strike one was gross. Uh, but number two, they're known for their pierogies. So Deanna and I have actually never had pierogies. So we are going to head over to cop out pierogies a little bit outside of town um, and try another Pittsburgh staple. Oh my gosh, Pittsburgh just redeemed itself on the culinary scene. Um, those pierogies were magnificent. We got the mac and cheese ones, those were okay. That was my pick, but Deanna had the best pick at the potato, bacon, and blue cheese, and it was so good. We're gonna think about those. You come to Pittsburgh, do not miss that stop. So we went to Cop Out Pierogies. Pierogies Plus is another really well-known one here that was closed today on a Saturday, um, but Cop Out Pierogies, located about five miles out of the city was open on oh, all oh, so good so good in kind was great uh it was a longer wait than we expected the internet said like 10 minutes it took us about 45 minutes to an hour to get through that line uh but you go up neat little over you and you come back down but now we are here at the museum honoring one of pittsburgh's most famous residents and that's andy warhol uh so we're here at the andy warhol museum where admission is 25 dollars a person eight dollars parking and we're heading in to check out the exhibits
So the Andy Warhol Museum did not allow videography, so we didn't get any video there. Um, but took a couple of cool pictures, so uh, really cool. Obviously, Pittsburgh is where Andy Warhol was born, but this amazing empire of pop art. Uh, pop art. Um, but now we're back at our hotel before we head to our dinner reservations for this evening at the Ritual House. Two par, par two or something. <laughs>